everyone. I am so excited to film this video. I've been researching this. This has been an idea in my head for a really, really long time. And I think I have found you some really great fitness, workout, athletic gear options from Amazon, Amazon pricing, that are very, very similar, dare I say, lookalikes to very similar things at Lulu Lemon. So let me set this up for you first. I'm all the way over to one side because I have tons of B-roll footage of me wearing things and I wanna have some pictures showing the Lululemon on one side and the Amazon option right next to it so you can see what I'm talking about. Something that may be annoying to many of you watching the rest of this video if you don't already click out is I only own one thing from Lululemon. So everything that I'm going to show you is just from research as far as comparing it to the Lululemon. I have read blogs, I have watched videos, I have combed through the Lululemon site. I've spent a lot of hours on the Lululemon site looking up fit and material composition and all the things. I have one pair of Lululemon Align leggings, just the one, because I just cannot justify in my head spending $120, $100 on a pair of leggings. It's just not for me. Of course, I wouldn't bat an eye spending $135 on a foundation. That's my favorite one, the La Mer. But that's because makeup to me is more important. I don't love fitness. I hate honestly working out. I know I have to do it to stay healthy and fit, but it's not something I enjoy. So I really don't see investing a lot of money for me into fitness wear. It's not gonna make me wanna work out more, I know it. That's just me personally. So I also didn't feel that it was right to run out and buy all the Lululemon versions of the pieces I'm about to share with you and then go and return them. I don't do that. I'm not knocking other people that do, but the only time you're ever gonna see me return something that I've shared here on YouTube is if it didn't fit right. Otherwise, I buy it because I want it and I'm keeping it. I'm also not saying that these are exact we're not supposed to use the word dupes anymore because copyright, right? These are not the exact same thing. It's a very similar concept to saying you're trying to do the same makeup look with drugstore products versus high end. You may achieve the same look in the end. The ingredient list is going to be different. The way some of the products apply are going to be different. Maybe even some of the finishes will be slightly different, but looking one face next to the other without a magnifying glass, you're going to achieve a similar, if not same look, same concept here. All right, I have set it all up. I'm gonna walk you through what I found. Sizing links and all the things will be down below in the description box if you feel like learning more about any of these things or actually purchasing any. I will link the Lululemon and the Amazon option if you wanna do your own side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, first off, we're gonna just start with two things right off the bat that got me started on this. And those are two things from the men's side of the house. This whole journey started. My youngest son, Shane, obsessed with brands, loves brand names. He's got champagne taste on a beer budget. He is in college, he does not have a job. So how's he buying Lululemon stuff? He either waits for a birthday or a holiday and he wants you know stuff now. I'm like, too bad, it's not a birthday, it's not a holiday, I'm not spending $120 on a pair of shorts for you. So we did some research and I found a pair of shorts and two pairs of joggers. Shane actually has the Lululemon versions of both things. I had them shipped to his place in uh, at school in Mississippi and he's like, mom, I cannot tell the difference. These are awesome. I will link to the shorts and both pairs of joggers that we ordered for him and that he just absolutely loves. All right, let's move on to women's and we're gonna start with leggings. First off the bat, are the brand is called Colorful Koala. I have about three or four pairs of them. These are the pair that you'll be seeing me wearing in the B-roll. These are said to be similar to the Align um, High Rise, which is what I actually have over here. And I will say that these, the Colorful Koala brand, are softer. They're, they feel more buttery smooth. These feel a little bit thicker. Um, there are a lot more color versions in the Amazon version. The Lululemon uh, retail, let me double check, retail for between $98 and $118. These retail for about $24. I am wearing them in a size small. They are buttery soft. I will say this, these are a little bit softer, but as far as looks goes, the seam placement is identical on both of them in that inner thigh. They're sort of a triangular seam placement. The seam is the same across the top of the rear end. 
um, on the sides of the legs. The Amazon material breakdown is a little bit different. And I thought this was important for those of you that are really into the fitness part and want to know how things move and stretch. The Amazon option is 75% polyester and 25% spandex. The Lululemon version is 81% nylon and 19% spandex. And I also did some research and spandex and Lycra are kind of interchangeable. They're basically the same material. So that's where I'm going with that. I love these in and of themselves, independent of how they compare to Lululemon. I actually prefer these to my Lululemon. And I would say that these look the most like the Lululemon align. Next, we have the CRZ brand. And I will say as a whole, the CRZ Yoga brand, if you go to their brand page, which I will link uh, at the top of the description box, has the most Lululemon lookalikes for men's, women's accessories, the whole thing. You could spend hours on their Amazon page. So I'll link to that because I did. So these are the naked feeling yoga pants. When did they switch yoga pants to leggings? Like back in the day, yoga pants were those pants that kind of they started off as leggings and then flared on the bottom and now they just mean leggings. But they're called the Naked Feeling Yoga Pants. These feel a little more similar to the Align. However, the seaming on this is not the same. The seams on that inner thigh that Lululemon has, the, um, these Amazon ones do not. The feel is similar. I will say the logo on the rear end of these looks a lot like Lululemon if, if you just don't look too carefully, check it out. Similar, right? These run a little bit smaller than the colorful koala. I would say if you're in between sizes, you could size up. I am actually wearing them in a small. There's no reason for me to lie. I don't wanna misguide you in your sizing. So um, I still feel like these are generously sized because I can do small medium in most things now, but I'm still wearing these and a small. Some people say that these are closer to the Wonder legging. You'd have to compare it. The Amazon, let me break it down. The Amazon is 71% nylon, 29% spandex, which actually is more similar to the Wonder legging material breakdown than the Align. Okay, next we have the Bay Leaf. And this is, I believe, an Amazon brand, like house brand. The Bay Leaf Tummy Control Leggings. Now these feel to me more like a clothing legging, meaning they're not shiny spandexy. I would wear these like with an outfit, like underneath a tunic top or, you know, more fashion leggings than workout leggings. These I feel are very similar in fabric makeup to the Wonder as well. These are definitely more compression. They're a little bit higher on the waist. They suck in more than the other ones that I have mentioned. I am wearing them in a size small. They compress, they do run long. You can, I think you can see, I hope it's hard when they're black, that they're bunching up at the ankle. I'm five foot four. These are a little too long for me. As far as comparing them to the Lululemon Wonder Under, that's what they're called, Wonder Under Leggings, the um, very similar looking texture, the high waistband is very similar. The seams, again, are not the same. And I mean, if you are a Lululemon fanatic, you may be able to spot if the seams don't look right. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm just letting you know. Um, as far as the material breakdown, the Amazon version is 50% cotton, 36% polyester, 14% lycra spandex. So this has cotton and the Lululemon one does not. The Lululemon is 69% nylon, 31% lycra spandex. So material wise, not similar at all. All right, let's move on to joggers. And I will say that traditionally, joggers are meant to be worn more slim fitting, just like one step up from leggings. I personally do not like to wear my joggers that way. If I want snug, I'm wearing leggings. If I'm wearing pants, I want a looser fit. So I sized up to a medium in both of these that you're gonna see next. I have two joggers to share with you. They are a little bit loose, but they have adjustable waistbands. They have drawstring waistbands, so I can make them as snug as I need to. I just like having that extra material, especially in the hips and the thighs. So the first one I wanna share with you is the CRZ Yoga late, late, Lightweight Joggers. They are very similar. I think they are dead on for the dance studio high rise joggers at Lululemon, other than some significant differences like the price. They are $30 on Amazon. The Lululemon version is 98. 
They look very, very similar. The waistband is very similar. The Lululemon version is a little bit taller. That's about the only difference you're going to see. Um, the material breakdown is very similar. 88% polyester, 12% spandex for Amazon, and then the Lululemon version is 86.14. So very, very similar. Of all the lookalikes or inspire pieces I have found over on Amazon, the two joggers I'm gonna share with you are two of the best finds I personally think that I found. The next pair I have on, so I can't hold them up, but you'll see them in B-roll. It's from a brand that I have never purchased before, Adjusai jogging pants. I have them in olive. Again, they are size medium. They're about $31 when I purchased them. These are comparable more to the Lux Stream high rise pant. Uh, same price point, that $98 over at Lululemon. Um, the breakdown for nylon spandex is $75.25 for Amazon and $69.31 for Lululemon. So the material doesn't quite line up, but they look very similar. I can't tell you how they feel, but they look really, really similar. All right, let's back up the footage and let's start talking about tops. So not the most comfortable part of filming, not wearing a top over this, but we're gonna start with the CRZ Yoga Strappy Sports Bra, which is very similar, especially the back of it, to the Energy Bra over on Lululemon. The Amazon version is $24, the Lululemon version is, what is it, 58, almost $60. I will say that the sizing is tricky on the Amazon side. I can't speak for Lululemon. I've never bought a Lululemon bra. This might be where you want to invest a little more money, I'm gonna say. If you're doing more high impact things, you wanna make sure you have a well-fitting bra. Uh, the Amazon site recommended I wear a size small in these. I size it up to a large based on my cup size. I'm like a 32 double D or a 34 D, kinda of depends how you measure. I bought it in the large and it fits just fine in the cups. On me, the band was a little bit loose. So I probably could have gone down to a medium and been okay, no way, in a small. The material breakdown is actually pretty similar. The Amazon is 71% nylon, 29% spandex, and the Lululemon is 69% nylon, 31% lycra spandex. So very similar there. I feel like they look very similar. The features are very similar. Fit. A little bit trickier. The next sports bra is the Gym People long line sports bra. I've always wanted a long line sports bra. Um, I like the concept of it. It's basically a tank top with a bra built in. So the Gym People long line sports bra is supposed to line up to the Align tank top. Um, the Align is anywhere from 58 to $68. The Gym People one is $23. Again, sizing recommendations didn't quite match up to where I am. Again, they recommended a small. I sized up to a large, clearly too big on me. Isn't gonna give me the kind of support I need, so that is gonna get sent back. I would probably, again, have gone for a medium. It just is tricky when your band size is small and your cup size is large. So in this case, you might wanna go to an actual retail store where you can try it on. And, and find the best fit. Although I will say the return policy at Amazon is fantastic. So just giving you all of the options. The material breakdown is identical in both of the bras. 80% nylon, 20% lycra for both of them. So they're constructed technically out of the same material. I don't wanna say the same way, but the material lines up. Aside from finding some great lookalikes in the joggers, the other standout find for me is this top that I'm wearing right now. I love a long sleeve workout shirt, but I personally prefer one that is loose fitting because I can wear it over, I'm wearing a sports bra right now, and then if I get hot, it's easy to take off. I just don't love the skin, I don't love skin tight workout tops. Again, personal preference. But anyway, this is the CRZ Yoga long sleeve workout shirt, great name, right? And it is similar to the back in action shirt at Lululemon, and from what I can see, very, very similar. The way that they're cut, the material, um, the seams, it's a little bit higher in the front, longer in the back. Um, I'm wearing it in a size small. The Amazon version is $26. The Lululemon version is anywhere from 58 to 68. The Amazon version is 92% Pima Cotton, 8% Spandex. The Lululemon version, I don't know. 
strangely, they did not give a breakdown. They did say that there is cotton and spandex, but I don't know how much. So this, like I said, everything else lines up. This is fabulous, comes in a ton of colors and it does run a pretty good size. Like I said, this is a small, so it's a little bit more snug in the arms and then you have plenty of room throughout the torso. The last Lululemon lookalike or inspired piece I wanna share with you, I love, it's not dead on, but it's pretty similar. And it's this jacket, it comes in a ton of colors. I just thought it'd be fun to get something with a real pop of color. I always gravitate towards gray or black in my workout gear, so I thought, let's just punch it up a little bit. So this is the Queenicky, I don't know how to pronounce it, sports jacket. It is inspired by the Lululemon Define jacket. They are both meant to be slim fitting, high neck. They have the thumb holes, all the things. The Lululemon version is anywhere from $118 to $128. The Amazon version is about $39. I did size up to a medium. I, like I said, don't love snug fitting jackets. I'm gonna have some room underneath, if, like if I wanna wear a shirt or something underneath it. The fabric breakdown, exactly the same between the Amazon version and the Lululemon version. 87% polyester, 13% spandex. So a couple of differences. The seams are placed slightly differently between the two of them. The pockets are placed differently a little bit as well. The pockets are longer on the Lululemon version. The fit is, very similar, the general look, the way it zips, where the zipper tucks in, the thumb holes, all of that, very, very similar. So if you're looking for, especially spring comes in, if you're looking for more of a sporty jacket, I highly, highly recommend this one. While we're here talking about Amazon, I did wanna bring in a couple more things that I just personally love, that I use all the time when I work out. They're not lookalikes for anything that I'm aware of. It's just what I wear. Don't mean to flash you, but let's just start with the sports bra. Here is it again. I've talked about this multiple times. This was, I don't know if it was 2020 or 2021 favorites. These sports bras come in a pack of five. They are my preferred sports bra and I do have them in a size large. I believe it's five for 38 bucks. So really, really good deal. My workout tank top that I prefer are these. I have, I think three of them. Just a basic racer back tank, but the back has a little bit of mesh on the back just to make it more interesting looking. I have this in a size small, they're about $19. I will say I have a workout top from Walmart that looks identical to this, so I wonder if it's from the same place. The Walmart one goes in and out of stock, so that's why I'm mentioning the Amazon version. It's just always there and so, so many color options. And then my preferred workout sneaker. Now I, when I say workout, I'm doing a little bit of um, HIIT workouts, but mostly elliptical, weights, yoga. Well, yoga, I would do barefoot. Nothing, I'm not running. Let's just put it, I'm not running. I'm not doing really aerobics, maybe a little bit of dance. And I prefer the Adidas Swift Run sneakers. I love them. I like the price point. You can find them all kinds of places, but I will say there is a really good selection over on Amazon, which is where I have purchased a few of them. I have them in white. I have them in black. I have them in pink. I feel like there's one more color that I have as well. I just like them, what can I say? And they fit really nicely. I have a slightly wider foot, not an official wide foot, but slightly wider, and I size down half. So I wear my Adidas sneakers in a six and a half. I hope that was helpful. Maybe you found some ideas, some ways to save some money. Maybe I've inspired you to put on your fitness gear and get a workout in. I hope that in some way this was helpful, maybe save you some money. Let me know, you Lululemon fanatics, what is it about Lululemon that you love so much and what pieces do you think are worth for me to check out at the full price option? I would love to get some feedback. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun and I'll see you in the next one.